what's going on guys, it is Coast Angel here, and today I'm at Busch Garden Williamsburg for my, um, I guess three to four day, um, spring break trip, and I just got off of this thing right here, Escape from Pompeii, one of the most themed, um, one of the most themed, um, uh, water rides, and hold on, um, and I really like it, of course I'm soaked, um, but yeah, I'm having a good, pretty good day today, it's actually weird that all the trees are, like, dead, um, and it's 80 degrees out, which is very odd. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing right now. And they were rolling, and I already spent most of my day here um, running all the coasters. Uh, the only coaster I rode that I have not ridden before was Invader. Um, that is a very good coaster. It has some very solid pops to eject the airtime. And that really did make it a very good family coaster. Definitely do enjoy that. We're going to go around the park one more time. Maybe ride, we're going to ride with Bolton and maybe Invader another time. And take a sky ride. So. Yeah, um, having a very good day here. Um, I hate, I hate being soaked. I mean, I, I guess it kind of does feel good. I mean, the theme, it, it was definitely worth it with all the theming on Skip and Pompeii. Um, but it's, I'm still soaked. So, even only the top half of me is actually soaked, though. Not the bottom half. Um, so, I've heard all the coasters. This atmosphere the park really is nice. Um, uh, the battle from uh, the battle for Erie, I forgot the name of it, but the new ride. Um, it opens later, late in uh, late spring, so it hasn't opened yet. Um, they haven't finished construction inside, so that's a bummer. I was expecting it to be open, but it wasn't. So, um, it wasn't open just because it opens later this spring, so it's so disappointing. Uh, it would have been nice to ride, and of course tomorrow uh, is the second park on this, or second and last park on this trip we will going to King's Dominion riding the new Twisted Timbers and some other rides like I-305 and we're seeing all the other improvements to the park. So, um, yeah, this park is just amazing. Um, the push shot lineup is awesome, I have a lot of POVs coming for you. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy. Um, a few of these I did not get out too well because of the quick queue policy. Of the quick queue. Um, I did not get to be in some of the roads that I would like, like the Polish chariot. Um, I didn't get in some of the roads I would like to. Um, but then other than that, on the other rides, I did pretty fine. Um, so, and we got a lot of clips of everything here. This park is awesome. It, it, seems, it, it, it feels way different from Busch Gardens Tampa. That's what I love about it. I kind of, I will give, since since uh, Busch Gardens Tampa is my home park, I haven't really, um, like, I'm beginning to um, think the other, like, other parks are better than just because I've been to it so many times. So I would say that I, me personally, I do like this park a little better the Busch Gardens Tampa just because of how good it looks and all of the feel of it and how many good coasters it has even though Busch Gardens Tampa does have all the coasters too. So um, uh, I'm going to go over this bridge, um, of course get great views of some coasts like Loch Ness Monster and Bolton um, on this bridge and I don't know if I ride with Bolton again. Um, it's one of my favorite family coasters. They, they have like some very very good family coasters. One of the best Lions family coasters I've ever had. I've ever seen in a park they have Invader and Bolton. Those are two very good family coasters. And they are near the top. And they are near the top coasters here at the Spark of Williamsburg. Um, see, and you also have the other thrill coasters like Alpine Geist and Griffin, Paul's Cherry and Pesto. Uh, I really just love this park. Um, um, well, the was absolutely perfect for us today. There was barely any clouds. I mean, there are still a little bit of clouds, but barely any, um, which is very, uh, very nice. Um, so I don't get. I mean, it's kind of a trick of people. You can have advertisements for kind of our ire everywhere. Which kind of tricks people because you think it would be open, but it's not. So, 
Here's the view that I love. This is like fantastic park view, and of course, they're also going to have the view of a bolt and strop. It looks really good. Of course, you have this move right here. It's all right. And the lines, not, not too bad today. Um, definitely not the best because you didn't have to crowd, but a lot of the coaches are just station weights. Um, but she didn't really need for the quick queue. Well, was, oh, but they said, they actually said, when we got there, they said it would be really crowded. But, um, it didn't look like it was crowded at all, actually. Um, and then they said they were actually out of the quick queue on limited bus, which is, which would mean the quick ride unlimited time on Invader or Tempesto. But such since the lines are so short, but um like Invader's line is on like 15 minute wait, which is not bad at all compared to some other rides. So yeah just heading up getting close to the Bolton. Um so I'm about to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed um this vlog. Uh, stay tuned for more videos coming here to questions and questions. And I'll see you guys later.